Guys, Caleb here, and today I'm going to be reviewing LEGO Star Wars Zori Bliss's Y-Wing Microfighter. When this set retailed, it retailed for $10, only having 86 pieces, and hopefully in this review, we can clear up if this tiny set is worth it to you or not. Thank you again for Sam for letting me review this set. You're the best. Instruction manual for this set is actually ridiculously small. Like, it's really tiny. It actually has the little scanning thing, so you can scan this if you want online instructions and really absolutely nothing out of the ordinary on this set. Obviously, it has an advertisement for the Skywalker Saga game and a couple advertisements for other 2019 sets, but nothing really to boast for this set at all. The one lone minifigure of this set being Zoe Bliss, and I think LEGO did an incredible job with her. You can tell they really put a serious amount of effort and money into making this figure as good as they could get it, and it definitely paid off. You can see the really cool, like, robe leg printing that goes down to her legs, they nailed it with that. One sort of blaster that they use for, like, pirates, except it's in, like, a gunmetal gray color, so I think that does look a little bit off, but she does have this really, really cool helmet piece, which I really, really like. It's even, like, black on the inside so you can tell they really put like some serious money into this you know unique helmet mold and it's even got some pretty cool like detailing on the back there so i honestly really really love the zori bliss minifigure here is the lone micro fighter included in the set and i honestly think they made it really really good obviously in 2019 they came out with a whole wave of sets including a full-on zori bliss y-wing set which was 70 dollars I always really did like that set, and you can't still buy it on LEGO.com. However, it's just, it seemed, it always seemed overpriced to me. And so this is basically the same thing, but it's seven times cheaper and a lot, lot smaller, obviously. But one thing I think this set is missing is an astromech droid. In the actual Y Wing, it had this really, really dope looking, like, teal astromech droid that I just loved. I honestly loved that droid. And they've done droids in other microfighter sets before, and so. I honestly wish it had just, even it, it could just be, you know, the top, you know, droid piece, like, right here it would be so, so cool to me if we got, you know, a little teal droid head, but we don't, and that's generally okay, but I think it's the one thing that the set lacks. It's a relatively chunky build, as all microfighters are, you know, you're not building these for accuracy, it's mostly just for kids, and I think they did a really good job with that. You have two little blasters at the front, which I actually think they did a really good job with. It looks a lot, a lot like the actual, you know, Starfighter, and I think they did a good job with that. It's also obviously got a little cockpit there. You can, in fact, sit Zori Bliss into the microfighter. Uh-oh, her hand's like that. Just like that. Easy as pie. I don't know why I said that. It's obviously not the microfighter's best look with, you know, a full minifig sticking out of there, but, you know, that's microfighters, all right? They're not exactly, you know... AP display models, but they get the job done as far as playability. I'm sure kids, you know, love putting Zori Bliss in the cockpit here, and it looks generally really good, I think. Taking her out, we can get a better look at this sort of, like, turret. On the actual Y-Wing, it has a turret on there, and so they managed to include a really, really small turret, and I think they did a really good job with that. The main play feature of the set, I suppose, are the two sort of flick fire missiles, and I wish they did stud shooters because I honestly like those better. I never under really stood how to flick these. Like, I don't know, you just have to like flick them twice, and they always kind of hurt my finger for some reason as a little kid. And yeah, it's just not the easiest thing to flick. My favorite part of the set is how they made the thrusters. These look incredible. They absolutely detail these a lot, and it ends up paying off. You have these two little like pink thrusters on the back there and just the engines in general look really really good as well as you can see like a assumedly cockpit back there i'm not really sure what that's doing back there obviously this isn't the most substantial build ever but it honestly looks really really good for a microfighter at the end of the day should you buy the lego star wars zori bliss microfighter set i would say heck yes go for it i actually really do enjoy this set for what it is Obviously not going to be as good of a set as an Aston Martin DB5 or, you know, a modular building would be, but it gets the job done. It honestly looks, you know, surprisingly good for a microfighter. They've made some terrible, terrible looking microfighters, and this is not one of them. I can proudly say that this looks really, really good. Obviously, as I said, it's not the greatest set ever. It has its faults. I really, really wish it had stud shooters instead of the stupid flick fire missiles because those are just, you know, ridiculously hard to get out of there. Today I'm going to give it a 79 out of 100, obviously not the greatest set ever, but it's a really good deal for $10. What are your thoughts on the LEGO Star Wars Zori Bliss's Y-Wing Microfighter, very long name, in the comments section below the Super Production, sign off for now. Make sure to like and subscribe if you want to stay up to date with my latest content, I will see you guys later, peace.